Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode recap of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8. So let's get to it, because there is a lot to cover this week. Um, first of all, last week, Thorgy Thor was eliminated, and a lot of fans were disappointed with that, because he was the big fan favorite. Personally, I'm glad he's gone. I did not care for Thorgy. I know I'm like the minority on this, but just didn't get him the whole time he was here. So I'm relieved he's gone, because now I don't have to bash my head over and over again trying to figure out what it is about him that everyone likes. And Thorgy did leave a nice note on the mirror, I guess nice should be like this. He said that he wanted Naomi, Bob, and Derek in the top three. I love it how Thorgy leaves a note like that, which is obviously very shady, and yet people still love him. And then Bob the Drag Queen talks about how confident he is in himself for like two seconds and everyone comes for him. Just doesn't make sense to me. So anyway, everyone is surprised that Derek Barry is still there and that he won the challenge last week and they all felt that Bob the Drag Queen carried him through it. For the mini challenge this week, everyone's favorite mini challenge, puppets! Because everybody loves puppets, right? So Kim Chi got Chi Chi Devane, and she was reading his boy nipples, and also his two inch heels. I thought she was very funny, I was very impressed with her. Um, Chi Chi Devane got Bob the Drag Queen. Um, pretty much that puppet was Bob the Drag Queen if he just shrunk to a minute size. Everything Chi Chi said was hilarious and it definitely fit Bob to a T. Derek Barry got Naomi Smalls and I think this was just an opportunity for Derek to come across as really bitchy and shady. He wasn't funny at all. Actually all the things he said were pretty rude. To me there's a fine line between being rude and being funny and he was just being a little bitch. Didn't like it at all. Naomi Smalls got Derek Barry, and the difference between those two is that Naomi Smalls was actually funny. And Bob the Drag Queen got Kim Chi, which he was pretty funny as well. So the winner of the mini challenge was Chi Chi Devane. So for the maxi challenge this week, it is all about the RuPaul book ball. Each of the queens is going to have to create three different looks that tells their life story. The first being baby drag, the second being that's my mama, so a look inspired by their mothers. And the last one, Autobiographical Eleganza Extravaganza. Try saying that three times. And the last look is going to have to be completely made out of book material. So a big bulk of this episode was spent between Derek Barry and Naomi Smalls. They were just constantly going back and forth with each other, throwing insults at one another. I just kept thinking, fight, 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 fight. But obviously, it's Drag Race. It's probably not going to happen. And actually, before the girls went on to the main stage, Derek Barry and Naomi Smalls had a huge argument. Pretty much Derek Barry saying, you know, Naomi Smalls is just a photo drag queen. She's not an entertainer. And then Naomi Smalls was saying, you know, Derek, for you to come into this competition as a Britney impersonator and not bring anything different to the table, I just don't get pretty much why you're still here. That's not exactly what he said, but somewhere along those lines. And I have to completely agree with Naomi. I was actually really impressed with how she stood up for herself and I feel like every point she made was valid. Whereas Derek Barry, he was literally just saying, I think Naomi's jealous of me because I won the last challenge. Really? Because I feel like Naomi's done way better on the runway, but they kept arguing throughout the whole episode and it was pretty funny to watch, but also kind of like, okay, that's next. <laughs> When RuPaul did his usual walkthrough around the workroom, we found out um, that Chi Chi is very close with his mother and they showed a picture of Chi Chi's mom and no shade, but Chi Chi's mom looks exactly like Chi Chi in drag. <laughs> Bob got really emotional because his mom is battling an illness and even though it was you know, sad to see Bob crying and getting upset about it, it was refreshing to see a more vulnerable side of Bob because we haven't seen that yet. And did RuPaul just say that Naomi Smalls came from behind? And not long after Naomi Smalls and Derek Barry got in that huge spat, 
they suddenly became BFFs. Well, not really BFFs, but still. Naomi Smalls was trying to bury the hatchet with Derek, and Derek was still just being kind of like a little bitch if you ask me, but Naomi was trying to help Derek fix his eyebrows. That was Derek's like main concern was making sure his eyebrows were different for the judges on the runway. And unfortunately, they still did not look very good at all. It looked like he just grabbed a crayon and went, Zoop! So onto the runway, the judges this week, obviously RuPaul, Michelle Visage, and Ross Matthews. The guest judges were David and Amy Sedaris from the hit TV show Strangers with Candy. And actually, before we get to the runway looks, the girls were challenged to also do an opening number in which they were inspired by Amy Sedaris' character from Strangers with Candy. And Chi Chi Devane was in charge of choreography, which I think is great because Chi Chi obviously is a great dancer. I was pleasantly surprised by Naomi Smalls. I thought she did a great job and was very funny. In fact, I think she probably did the best out of all the five girls. I thought Bob the Drag Queen was very funny. I thought that Kim Chi, her dance moves, I think we learned from, what was it, the Pitch Perfect Challenge, that she's clearly not a very good dancer and it doesn't look like she's picked up on any dance moves since then. So I'm just going to give a rundown of each of the girls' looks really quick and then I'm going to talk about my ranking of each of the girls, how I think they all did. So for the first look, it was Baby Drag. Kim Chi came out, and boy, that was a huge pearl necklace. Then next up was Naomi Smalls. He came out in a adult diaper, I guess you could say, and pretty pearls and a nuck. Is that what you call it? The thing the baby suck on? I think it's called a nuck. But the drag queen came out. He had the cute little side ponytail. Um, Cheetah Prince Moomoo is pretty much what it was. Then next up was Derek Barry. Those eyebrows. Oh my gosh. I guess we'll give him a C for effort. And that dress was a just super cheap blue dress. Nothing special there. And then Chi Chi came out in his baby drag. I am shocked that the judges didn't read him for this. It literally had Honey Mahogany from season 5 written all over it. It was literally just... A piece of fabric on his body. Next up was That's My Mama Realness. And first up was Kim Chi. He came out in this very traditional Korean white ball gown. And I loved it. I loved the makeup. And I just, I loved the way he worked the stage. It was very um, calm the way he walked around the stage. But it really worked with that look. Naomi Smalls came out. And he had a very nice white gown with the big shoulder pads. Little bob haircut. And a lace front. And... I thought it was a really well constructed look. Bob the Drag Queen came out and he was serving us a Power Bitch suit and it reminded me a lot of Viola Davis. I think works for Bob. I've actually used that Viola Davis reference with Bob the Drag Queen I think a few times throughout this season. Derek Barry came out again in a really cheap dress and crappy brown wig. And to me, it just looked like Loretta Lynn going to the CMAs. Chi Chi Devane came out, and this was a complete 180 from his baby drag. He had a really awesome cheetah print dress that was long sleeved. He had the Nene Leaks hair going on. My only criticism is it didn't touch the floor. I know that a lot of people probably don't think that's a big deal, but I really hate it when drag queens wear gowns that don't touch the floor. And then for the last look, it was autobiographical, eleganza, extravaganza. Kim Chi came out, and I have to say this was probably my favorite look out of all the girls. She had this um, pages just spread out all around like a gown, but had it revealing in the legs. And actually my favorite part of this gown was the hair. It was so well constructed. It was different shades of like pink and um, white for all the pages, and it just looked really good. Naomi Smalls was next, and she had a really awesome short dress made completely out of pages, again, and it was kind of like protruding out of the top. My only critique on this overall look was the wig line. Everything else was just perfect. Bob came out next, and Michelle Visage read him completely for not having a dress that was made out of pages from a book. It was made out of cardboard, but to me, it still was what they were assigned because he was told to make an outfit out of a book not just the pages of a book and he had different shades of blue and yellow and I loved his big hair I thought it was a really great look he was challenged to do glam 
And to me, that is glam for Bob. He doesn't have to wear like a giant ball gown. He doesn't have to have all the sequin material. He's the kind of queen that you go to watch him for what he's gonna say and he's still able to put together a really good look. Is it as good as, say, Naomi or Kim Chi? No, but I actually still thought it was a really good look. Next up was Derek Barry. It is not drag. He had this really cheap strap top, and it looked like he only put a couple pages on it. Like, it looked like it took him two seconds to make, and he just had little panties on underneath. It was one of my least favorite looks of the entire world. And last up was Chi Chi Devane. She had a really awesome mini dress made completely out of paper and it had fringe at the bottom. I loved the pieces of paper coming out of her hair. She was giving me Serena Williams. She went to the end of the runway and turned around and boy, that muscly back. She did not have to do that. <laughs> so ranking all the queens, my least favorite, of course, was Derek Berry. And picking my favorite look of his was impossible. I didn't like any of them. I think my favorite look of his was the look he gave right before he left the stage. And then my next favorite was Chi Chi Devane. I probably would have ranked her higher because I loved her autobiographical look, but her first baby look I thought was terrible. I didn't like that at all. And then my next favorite was Bob the Drag Queen. My favorite look of his was probably his autobiographical one. I understand it was made completely out of cardboard, but he was challenged to give a glamorous look, and I think he did. And actually, out of all the girls, I thought his narrative when he was walking onto the runway was the best. He was very funny, and I thought it was great. My second favorite queen of the week was Naomi Smalls. I loved his autobiographical look. That looked like a red carpet outfit. And my absolute favorite on the runway this week was Kim Chi. Picking my favorite look of hers was hard, but I'd probably have to say, again, the autobiographical look. I loved the construction on the garment, and I thought her hair was awesome. It was made completely out of paper. She wasn't wearing a wig. It was made completely out of paper. She had a fully realized visual idea. So she really met all the requirements of this challenge. So the winner of the challenge was Kim Chi. No surprise there. My only thing was that I don't understand why the judges didn't read her for her performance in the opening number. Clearly she can't dance and she didn't look very good so I was surprised they didn't even talk about that. And then safe was Chi Chi Devane and Naomi Smalls. So the bottom two, Bob the Drag Queen and Derek Berry. And the song that they lip synced to was You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. Never heard of that song. So when it came to the performances and the lip sync, Derek Barry, it was just a showgirl performance. To me, it was like what he does in Vegas. It wasn't bad, but it was just something that we've seen time and time again. And Bob, I thought he took great command of that stage without really doing much. He was just moving pretty well and had some great expressions and clearly outdid Derek Barry. So when it came to the final decision, the queen that is eliminated is Bob the Drag Queen. Just kidding, it was Derek Barry. There is no way Bob the Drag Queen was going home against Derek Barry. And of course, when Derek was eliminated, stop talking Derek, he just kept going on and on and on. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really want to challenge myself. Okay, give it a rest, you're eliminated. Walk out, walk out the door, okay? So now we are down to the final four. And I think this is a great top four. I really like all of the queens. And actually, right after the first episode aired, I made a list changing some of my predictions for how the show would go. And Bob the Drag Queen, Kim Chi, and Naomi Smalls were all in my top three. And that's how I think it's gonna go. I do want to see Bob the Drag Queen win. However, I think it's gonna be Kim Chi that wins the competition. So I guess we'll have to see. The show's gonna be over in what? two, three weeks? Jeez. This was a really quick season. So that is my recap for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, CJ Rambler. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.